Hello and welcome back to another video on Bevy. In this video, I thought I would do a quick overview on how you can uh, translate your 0.8 scenes into 0.9 scenes by hand. This is to go basically companion with my previous video that was talking about the Bevy scenes and it's fairly simple process, but it may not be apparent like steps that I've come up with that make this process somewhat easier to convert. So in Bevy point 0.8, everything was represented as strings in your scene. So you have, you know, you had a type and then the type name as a string and then struct, which again is all strings. Whereas now in 0.9, it actually has proper names for everything. And they also changed a lot of things from being lists into being maps so that you can only have one entity and one of each type of component, which makes everything a lot more easily accessible and the compiler will tell you when loading a file that you've got two copies of the same component on something as before it would just load both of them and the second one would overwrite the first. And another great advantage of this is there cuts down a lot of redundancy. So this file, which is exactly the same scene, is 65 lines long, whereas this one is only 36 lines long. It also means that because of the RON format, the uh, italicense can actually fill things in, like the fact that it's highlighting entity as blue and components blue, rather than in the old version where in this particular sense, they're still blue, but the type and the struct and then types and that are all horribly like mangled into text. Whereas in this, like the X, Y, Z are actually also blue. And you know, and your values are back to being values. Rotation is just a tuple as opposed to here where it had to specify value and then a tuple. And that was also the rotation didn't change much, but the vector three changed a lot. And this is a, under the hood, Bevy has the quaternion is just a uh, four-dimensional array or a four-dimensional vector. Um, anyway, so to get started, you would start with the new scene structure. And this is to do with, in 0 0.8, you had a list of entities and then a list of each entity's value. So this changed from being a square bracket into a curly bracket. So my recommendation is start with a file that looks like this and import your each entity individually. It'll be much easier to keep track of what entities have what in them. So once you have this, you move on to the next step, which is to map each entity. So each entity will be mapped so that your entity number, semicolon, and then open parentheses, that's how you map an entity. And then each entity has a components section, which is a separate map for the components. This is all about making the scenes format more expandable so that in the future, they can have something outside of entities, such as potentially assets that can be loaded. The next thing is you then map a string representation of the name, followed by parentheses, and then the scene's serialized form. In theory, Bevy can still take in the old version of scenes, just it won't automatically load this, so it would be possible to do this by script, by loading your scene and then typed deserializing them back. But the final step, once you've reached this point of making your scene, so having each component with its ID and its components list here, but not filled in its components yet, leaving that blank. You then move on to copying over the pile of data that is from your 0 0.8 scene. So as you see, this is the transform component here. So you copy that across and then you condense it down. So you can remove type completely and then just leave the type's name. Replace the colon, uh, the comma at the end with a semicolon and then strip out all the unnecessary tags such as you know struct and reduce the text names back down to actual fields. You will need to then go into each individual parameter here or each field and convert them to their corresponding serialized form. So in this case, it says it's a type vector three and then has the value. You'll instead convert that into a parentheses wrapped X, Y, Z rotation doesn't change very much except that it removes the type and value specification and just wraps rotation 
and then scale is again the very similar where we wrap it into XYZ because it is also a vector through. You may need to, in some cases, serialize and then deserialize, or yes, make and then deserialize some and serialize some forms of files to get what their uh, serialized layout actually is, since you can't tell what a transforms vector three, the translation actually translates into. But this is all independent and specifically depends on what uh, fields the component is serializing. But all this information is fairly copy and paste across, and then it's more about just removing parentheses where necessary. You still need to leave the type name in parentheses because it's actually looking for a string. But this should allow you to convert all your 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 scenes. I hope this has been helpful, and I will see you in the next video where we will actually be making a scene by hand in text and also using things like Bevy Editor, please, to create a scene and save it to text. Hope you've enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.